Hello students, in this video on financial planning, we will be doing practice 4.1, sum number 6 and 7. So let us start with the 6th sum. According to this question, tip top electronics supplied an AC of 1.5 ton to a company. Cost of the AC supplied is 51,200 with GST. Rate of CGST on AC is 14%. Then find the following amounts as shown in the tax invoice of tip top electronics now these are some amounts that they have asked us to find out so to find out let us see what is given we know that the cost of the ac is given this is the actual cost of the ac with gst means it's including the tax and the rate of cgst is given so let's write this okay now we'll find the first quantity that is rate of SGST is equal to rate of CGST equal to 14%. Therefore, we can say that rate of SGST is equal to 14%. Now, what is the next quantity that we have to find? The rate of GST. So, let's write rate of GST is equal to rate of CGST plus the rate of SGST which is equal to 14% plus 14%. We get 28%. So let's write this in the box. That is therefore rate of GST is equal to 20, 28%. Now what is the next quantity that we have to find out? Taxable value. Now this amount is with the tax. Taxable value means the amount without the tax. Okay students. So it's just like the fifth sum. Here we do not know the taxable value. So we will consider the taxable value to be x. So let's write it. Let the taxable value of the AC be X. So we have taken the taxable value to be X. So what will be the total value of the car? Total value of the AC. Total value of the AC will be taxable value plus GST. Which will be taxable value will be equal to X plus 28% of X. So let's write the total value. Total value of the AC is equal to X plus 28 upon 100 into X. Okay, now we know the total value of the AC. Therefore, we can write 51,200 is equal to 128 upon 100 X. When we take the LCM, we will get 100 X plus 28 X which will be 128 X. On cross multiplying, we will get X is equal to 51,200 into 100 upon 128. On calculating, we will get the answer to be 40,000. Hope this part is clear. So, we get the taxable value of the car or sorry AC to be 40,000. Okay, what was the next question to find the amount of GST? So let's write the amount. Uh, total value is equal to taxable value plus GST charged. So which is equal to 50, therefore GST charged will be equal to 51,200 minus 40,000 which is equal to 11,200. Therefore we write GST is equal to rupees 11,200. So this is the GST charge. Now what is CGST is equal to SGST equal to half into GST which is equal to half into 1000, 11,200 equal to 56,000, uh, 5600 that is 5600. So we have got all the quantities that were uh, amounts that were asked. So let's write the final answer. We will just write this CGST is equal to 5600, SGST is also 5600. So let's now write the final answer that is rate of first one amount that was asked was rate of SGST 14% rate of GST is 28% then the next quantity amount was taxable value which is 40,000 then next is GST total GST will be rupees 11,200 then CGST will be rupees 5,600 and SGST will be rupees again 5,600 Hope the solution is clear students. Let's now go to the next question. Okay, now the seventh question says Prasad purchased a washing machine from Maharashtra Electronic Goods. The discount of 5% was given on the printed price of rupees 40,000. Rate of GST charged was 28%. 
find the purchase price of the washing machine also find the amount of cgst and sgst shown in the tax invoice now children hear what the question they are telling you that is prasad is going to buy a washing machine and he is going to pay 40000 the price printed on it is 40000 a discount of 5% is given means on this 40000 a discount will be given and after on the discounted price he has to pay the gst clear and finally what will be the power power purchase price the discounted price plus the tax will be the purchase price suppose if you buy any object for 100 rupees and you are paying a tax of 10 rupees so how much will be the purchase price 110 so that is what i mean by the purchase purchase price means the price including the gst okay so and gst and tax is always charged on the discounted price never on the printed price clear so let us start with what is given the printed price is given as 40000 Rate of GST is given as 28% and discount is given as 5%. So, what is the first thing that we have to do? First, find the discounted price. So, we start with the solution that is the printed price is rupees 40,000. Now, in order to and the discount is given as 5%. So, let, to find the discounted price, we need to first find the discount. How much is the discount given? So we find the discount given that is 5% of the printed price. So which is equal to 5 upon 100 into 40,000. Cancel the zeros and you get 2,000. So this a discount was given on 40,000. So now by now you know if I have, if the shopkeeper gives me a discount of 2,000 rupees, how much will I be charged for it now? Uh, in excluding the tax, it will be 40,000 minus 2000 okay so let's write the discounted price will be printed price minus discount which is equal to 40000 minus 2000 equal to 38000 hope this part is clear now the gst will be charged on this amount okay students so it is not going to be charged on 40 that's why we always ask for discount we ask the shopkeeper to reduce the price so after reducing the price the gst is going to be charged on this amount so let's find the GST. Therefore, the tax first will write what is the taxable value. Taxable value will now be 38,000. The amount on which tax is charged is called as taxable value. Now let's calculate the GST on it. So GST charge will be rate of GST into taxable value. How much is the rate of GST? It is given as 28%. And what is the taxable value? 38,000. So when we calculate this amount 28 upon 100 into 38,000, we will get the answer to be 10,640. That means this much tax we have to pay. It's a luxury item. So that's why the rate of GST is very high. Okay. So 10,640 will be the amount of GST. So we will write therefore the purchase price of the washing. What will be the purchase price of the washing? Will be the printed price plus the GST charge. What is the printed price? 38,000 plus 10,640. When you add these two, you will get 48,640. Hope this part is clear students. You are going to pay so much. Now what is the next part of the question? That you have to find the CGST and the SGST. Now, so we'll just write it. Purchase price of the washing machine is rupees forty-eight thousand six hundred and forty. Now, amount of CGST will be amount of SGST equal to half into GST charge. How much is the GST charge? Ten thousand six hundred and forty. So that is half into ten thousand six hundred and forty equal to five thousand three hundred and twenty. That means amount of GS, CGST will be 5320 and CG, SGST will also be 5320. So you will get amount of G, CGST is equal to rupees 5320 and amount of SGST will also be 5320. So let's write the final answer now. That is the purchase price of the washing machine is rupees 48,640. 
amount of CGST is 5320 and amount of SGST is also 5320. Okay students, hope the solution is clear to you. That's all for the day. Thank you.